Okay, so Summer Game Fest was here this uh, this night and actually it was a pretty interesting event because, well, you get the summer, you get the event, so of course you get a great games, right? Well, not exactly. So yeah, not a lot of reveals were there, but I will actually make a little bit of a compilation with the best reveals, so please enjoy. Okay, let's start off with... I think the best reveal that they had, really, which uh, it's actually not even a first reveal, but uh, hey, we take it. Blade Zero Phantom. I think the first time, I might be wrong, but I think they did announce this at the Game Awards, if I'm not mistaken. And even there, it was one of the highlights of, uh, of the event. Uh, I'll be totally honest with you, I did not even expect this to, uh, you know, still be as important today. Uh, let me just take this a little here. Just because I might just get copyrighted by Sony if I don't. Somewhere like this. Okay. It is a really interesting looking game, I will say this, I really like it. I think it's gonna be a lot of like, uh, you know, a Dark Souls-like game, it does seem to do that. But a little more action-oriented, so I guess maybe not as hard. Maybe somewhere uh, like Neo, I would say. Especially since it's Sony stuff, so... For those of you that did not play Neo, Neo is basically just a Dark Soul-like. It does look super cool. And apparently you can have arranged weapons. Um, pretty cool looking close combat weapons. So I'm actually super excited of this one. So another non-reveal basically. This one is probably a little more weighted I would say by the name anyway. Dune. I created the future. It looks good. I'm not gonna lie to you, but this is just cinematic, so I don't know. Again, uh, the game was revealed before. Again, it Game Awards, so I don't know. I'm excited for the game. But this doesn't, uh, you know, everything would change. Make me well. Exterminated. Okay. No, Muadib. No, Lizan Al Gahib. No, Kwisatz Haderach. All of my visions lead to horror, except for this one. So this one leads to you. Like an alternate universe tune. I would say, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, I am excited for this one, but again, you did not announce it today. Let's go. One of my favorite games as a child. Actually, my first FPS that I've ever played. And I'm really excited for this one to come back, finally. After so long, Delta Force is here, and it is gonna come back, hopefully, on high horses. Okay, we get gameplay. That's cool. Looks like someone beat us to it. We need to pick up the pace. Okay, good. graphics and gameplay subjective to change. Okay. This usually happens, but it looks good. I mean, it looks really good. Hopefully, it's not gonna be one of those, you know, kind of watchdogs situations. Uh, even though uh, developers kind of got a point not to do that anymore. If you don't remember Watch Dogs when it was first announced, it looked absolutely insane. And then the game showed up and it was nothing like that. 
And it was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Not a good idea. Yeah, but this one looks really good. Like, genuinely. Okay. Prepare, let's go. Delta Force, Black Hawk down. Alright. Maybe they will do like, uh, since I think this was supposed to be, and he's supposed to be free to play or something. So, most probably, you know, uh, it's gonna be something like events. So, you'll have Delta Force, Black Hawk down. You'll have, I don't know, Delta Force, like other big situations from like wars and stuff. I guess it would make sense. You know, for it to continue and stuff like that. Anyway, really cool. It's looking pretty good. And with this being said, we go to one of the biggest surprises that Game Awards actually even started its night with, which is... This. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Well, um, when I saw the go logo for Guerrilla Games, I was like, wait, what? Those are making a Horizon. The reason is they are making Horizon, only a Lego Horizon, apparently. Um, I don't know since when she can actually teleport. <laughs> she cannot really do that in the game, but hey, I guess the best trouble, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I expected for any LEGO uh, stuff to happen. Maybe a LEGO God of War. I would have seen that a little more coming, but a LEGO Horizon? I did not expect this. What the fucking ever. It's, uh, it's actually super interesting. It looks pretty good, and look, I'll be honest, I'm kind of a sucker for LEGO games. I just like them, they're pretty fun. Usually they're super funny. And at the end of the day, I just thought it's such an interesting reveal that I kind of wanted to show it. Hell yeah. Yeah, probably get copyrighted if I don't do something. And yeah. I don't know if this will, well, most probably it's not going to like repeat the story of the game, so it most probably will have its own story run line, but again, looks pretty interesting and the gameplay looks pretty fun. You can still apparently fight the big baddies from the main games, which I'm pretty uh, thankful for. Uh, as always, they do keep their little funny gigs, which again, I'm super happy for because I still think they're super funny. So. Yeah, it's gonna come. Oh, this holiday in 2024. Well, how about that? That's actually super fast. Let's also talk a little bit about some VR things. I have said it quite a few times. I'm not that excited for VR. However, There's a new darkness overtaking Gotham. there we go. Arkham is, in my opinion, the one VR game that I remember, and I remember it was really good when it did show up for the first time, because it was a Batman Arkham before on VR. However, um, I did not expect them to make Arkham. This is really the, f the thing that surprised me the most, and this is why I'm doing this reveal, this reveal, this uh, reaction. I totally didn't see it coming. I thought after Suicide Squad, they will not uh, do it anymore. They will just leave Arkham, uh, Arkham games alone. Apparently they're going back. In VR, true, but still. Um, and yes, this is not a reveal, because basically we knew about this one again. Which is something that uh, Fall 2024, again, super uh, over the corner here. Um, well, that's something this summer Game Fest kind of did the entire time. Shows things that are not new and I was like well this doesn't really do a lot uh to be totally honest I had some big expectations I really thought okay 
we did not really get any games and we know we're not gonna get too many games this year so how about we show something we might get next year so i really hope maybe a trailer for wolverine would actually come up with some little gameplay in there i really hope maybe some gta reveals uh i know gta and rockstar in general don't really do this kind of stuff they really announce it by themselves but i really hope they might be able to pull this one off no none of that uh, we get nothing um well it's not nothing we still get some good games but uh yeah it hails from a single developer gavin eisenbeis up in seattle who has been making games all by himself for a decade his last title, Choo Choo Charles, was a fan favorite, and he showed me. Yeah, this let's next go. Game so I, I'm making ago, really this reaction mostly because I want to support these guys so bad. Uh, if you don't remember, I did talk about Choo Choo Charles before. It was a horror game made by one guy. Uh, so again, an inspirational thing, if you want. Uh, let me get this down a little bit. It's kind of loud. All oh, right. Uh, and I'll be totally honest, this is a big departure from the horde gaming of Choo Choo Charles to come here where it's like this, uh, I guess, co-op, maybe a PvE kind of game on, okay, let's get out of prison. Um, and even though that's the case, and it's a big shift on, um, I will say this, this right here already looks like the hit for streamers. I'll personally uh, already say it probably all streamers will play this and this might just make it one of the biggest game of the year like uh, around the mangas and all that just because if this goes viral enough and i think that is probably the idea of it on how it looks and how it feels like um it's just gonna look interesting it's gonna be a very interesting thing What are you though? Like a jelly creature? Uh, are those uh, jelly bears? <laughs> With friends! Alright. Looks fun. Oh, and then it can still shoot you even afterwards. Oh, alright. You know that one. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> After a hard day, as a day at work. Let's do it. Cough bust. And now let's also get a horror game in here. It's not again a reveal because it was announced before. But I am excited for this one. Uh, and for me this was mostly a reveal. Because I didn't know of its existence really. I did hear something I think of a game called Karma. But never actually checked it out. And um, this is it. They basically are just presenting it a little bit and talk about it, you know, the dev team talking about it. And I will say the game looks pretty interesting. And I think if any chance of a good horror game could be for, uh, I will personally think it's next year. This, this might be the one. And I'm talking like a, a good AAA horror game. Because we do have good indie horror games. Again, the whole thing, the, the idea itself is super interesting. It looks really good. And it has all these weird ideas, which I'm pretty interested in, by the way. <laughs> Even like the TV heads, I don't know, something creepy about that. This is like a fallout thing also. <laughs> yeah, like the horror and creepiness begin. Yeah, yeah. This is Karma's Dark World, a 
，我们会第一时间告知你试完的 demo 的相关时间。There will be a demo for this one. Okay, good. I can't wait to play it. And that's good because they seem confident in it. And again, it looks really stylish. It looks really good. I kind of like this. This isn't real. This can't be real. Okay. I'm really, really interested in this one. And I'm excited for this one. I'm just excited for uh, a new good horror AAA game. Um, this looks honestly like, uh, what was it? Uh, the Evil Within, right? The Evil Within's uh, trailer, well not trailer, but like cover art. This is basically that. And with this being shown, so we ended with a horror game actually. This is actually pretty interesting i would say but also kind of disappointing i'm not gonna lie to you this summer game fest was really more like here are some games that were announced before they did not come up with anything new and anything that exciting i mean besides blade zero phantom which is not even gonna be this year it's probably gonna be like next year um really there's nothing that i was super excited for well delta force i was a, a kind of excited for only uh honestly i'm not into shooters as much anymore so i don't know um especially if it's free the thing is being free to play i just it reeks that most probably season passes and microtransactions are gonna flood that game and i'm just not a big fan of that one uh and other than that really i don't know uh I, so I'm not saying I'm not excited for some of the announcements that they had, it's just not that excited. I mean, LEGO Horizon Adventures, sure, I think it's fun and I liked the idea. I like the idea of Cuff Buffs, uh, Cuff Bust, sorry. Uh, honestly, I think if any game uh, actually got my interest, that one was the one. Because again, it might be one of the best streaming games that will come up this year and I'm super excited for that one. Um, and I really hope it will be a hit because again, it's made by one person and he did do a really good game before so hopefully he can do it one more time um, But yeah I am excited and at the same time I'm a little bit scared since this is so we had a state of play from Sony Which I did not react to almost anything there because there's not so much to react from uh, from that there were so uh, some games that they revealed. Maybe I'll make a trailer reaction for one of them. But I was not that excited for what they showed. Uh, Xbox's uh, showcase is this Sunday. So hopefully they will actually pull this one off and, you know, reveal the good stuff. Theoretically speaking, Xbox does have the better lineup that should actually come out. Because you got Fable that they did not show too much of. So hopefully that's my biggest hope to get Fable to actually show some gameplay. Uh, and uh, they had a few other games that they did announce uh, at their last showcase last year. So I'm actually kind of excited for this one. And also at Game Awards, they did show some games at Game Awards as well. So hopefully they will follow up with, you know, actually gameplay reveals, maybe even a new announcement. I don't know. I just, uh, Xbox has to do a lot to actually kind of clean up after the mess they've created with all the layoffs and, you know, the closed studios that a lot of people did love. So, yeah. Uh, with this actually being said, I'm actually pretty excited for what that event will actually bring. So stay tuned for that one. And uh, this was kind of it. To me, these were the biggest reveals that Summer Game Fest uh, 2024 had. Uh, I would actually be really interested if you could tell me what do you think of this? Was this interesting enough for you? Are you excited for any of these games? Sure, probably uh, Wukong is the new thing and everyone will want it. But then again, everyone knew about it. It's not a big secret. It's not like they crashed uh, everything and it was like a world reveal or whatever. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, not that excited in that part. Uh, but uh, also they did announce Pal Worlds. I forgot to... Uh, well, did not really forget. But it, again, Pal Worlds, it was already playable. But they announced like an official release date. Because up until now it was not officially released. Right? It was just like early access or whatever. I kind of hate these terms. But at the same time, it was a fun game. So yeah. 
I, I'll give it a pass. Uh, but with that actually being said, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment if you did like this and if you enjoyed any of the games that you actually saw here. And with uh, this, subscribe also to the channel because I'll do much more of these in the near future, especially with Xbox's showcase coming up. I really hope we'll see some good games there, but God knows, apparently not this year. No, this is not the year of gaming, let me tell you. Bye, guys.